talk about this Gucci foundation. Hey my loves, my name is Cherie and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out the new Gucci foundation. It is called the Gucci Fluid Debut. It's obviously written in a different language, but I think when you say it in English, it is Fluid of Beauty. So I picked up the color 460N, so 460 Neutral. Picking these foundation shades on Sephora's website is a whole headache. So I can already tell in this frosted bottle, we may have some color matching concerns, but I don't want to jump the gun, you know? Sometimes the foundations look one way in the bottle, and then when you put it on your face, it looks completely different. So let's just try this out and we'll see how it works and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end of this video. So to start off, I'm going to prime my face. Whenever I'm trying out a new foundation, I definitely want to make sure all the other products that I'm using are products that are tried and true for me. So I'm going to prime my face. I think it's a good idea for you to use a primer that already works well with your skin. I would not suggest trying like a new primer with a new foundation unless that primer is made for that foundation. I want to get to the foundation portion. Okay, so it's definitely a runny product. It's very watery. It is supposed to be very skin light, very natural. So on one side of my face, I'm going to use a beauty sponge, and on the other side of my face, I'm going to use a brush. So I'm just going to dip my brush into the foundation, and it's definitely too dark, but it's really soft, it's really pretty, it's very lightweight. Wow, feels good. So I'm going to zoom you in so you can see. Okay, so here is what the skin is looking like. It's really soft, really pretty. And on the other side of my face, I'm going to use the sponge, the beauty sponge. So I just like to pick a little bit of the product up on the sponge and just start working it into my face. I'm a person who likes to use the brush for my foundation, but I know some people prefer to use a sponge, so I just wanted you to see how it will look using either a brush or a sponge. Honestly, the beauty sponge, this is beautiful, like how it's gliding on yeah so this color is not my color however I'm going to try my best to make it work with concealer and powders again being that I'm trying out a new foundation I'm only going to use like the concealer that I know works well for my skin and being that the foundation made me one flat color I'm going to use the concealer to bring back some, I guess, dimension in my face. Nobody walks around with like a face that is one color. There's usually some curve appeal, some dimension, so I'm going to use the concealer to kind of mimic that. So as you can see, adding the concealer, it kind of bought back some of the golden undertones that I have in my actual skin complexion so it doesn't look as dark as it was or as red. I don't want to say as dark as red. I'm going to set the concealer into place with a translucent powder. So anytime you put a liquid cream on your face, in order for it to stay as long as possible, you're going to want to set it with a powder of some sort. I like to use a translucent powder, but some people use like foundation powders. And I'm going to add some more warmth back into my face by putting on a little bit of bronzer. I like to bronze around the perimeter of my face. 
And this kind of brings that warmth and a little bit more structure, I guess, to my face. And to finish off, I'm going to apply a face powder just to kind of like marry all of those products together. Blend them up nicely for the perfect cocktail. <laughs> the foundation looks 100% flawless. Flawless. But I'm going to add some more makeup, maybe a little bit of eyeshadow, some lashes, and some gloss. And I'll come back with my final thoughts on this foundation. Alright you guys, we are back. I put on some makeup and honestly... The foundation is a little bit darker than my actual skin complexion, but it doesn't even matter. Like, this foundation is beautiful, okay? It's so lightweight, so just, like, skin-like. It's, it's just flawless. <laughs> I'm looking at myself in the mirror, and I'm just like, wow, this, this looks really, really good. Just so you know, this foundation does retail for $68. I mean, do I think it's worth $68? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. It's Gucci. I mean, you don't go into a Gucci store and expect to pay $20 for a pair of their shoes, right? No, they are going to up the charge because it's Gucci. So right now I'm on Sephora's website looking at the foundation and there there's a lot of shades. So here's what the model looks like. I don't know if you guys can see. And that is the shade 420 neutral and I got 460 neutral. Let me just show you what that model looks like. Now that I'm looking at the pictures, I guess, yeah, 420 would have worked out a lot better for me. Darn it! What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section if you would even be interested in seeing another Gucci <laughs> foundation review. Well, if you don't come back for the second review, I will say this. The foundation is beautiful, okay? I am loving the way this looks. I feel extra luxurious, extra beautiful, extra sexy. I, all around, this is gorgeous. I literally do not feel anything on my skin. This is luxury. See, I need to stop messing around with cheap foundations, girl. This is what luxury is like. Oh! See, this is why. This is exactly why I do not buy expensive things. Because I just, I just know. I know I'll get hooked. If you're interested in trying it out, I will link the website down in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. So let me quickly read the details. It is a natural finish liquid foundation. It's available in 40 shades and it was developed for all skin types that can be worn in multiple ways for a flawless looking complexion. The coverage is medium so if you like more of a full coverage foundation you would be able to build it up like I noticed when I was putting it on it wasn't my shade so I didn't want to add more of it onto my skin but I definitely could have built it up another layer if it was my color because I do see some of my um my dark spots uh, it's a liquid foundation. You guys saw that it was very watery and the finish is natural. They didn't tell no lie there. I woke up like this. Let me stop playing around. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I had so much fun making it. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this foundation and would you go out and put out that $68 for it. Listen. Do you? My everyday foundation is about $13, girl. So $68? They tried it. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share this video with someone who is interested in foundations and interested in makeup content. Share this video with them. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.